Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Sihle from Exodus Sovereign Africa. I'm chatting today with uh, Terence Hove, who's a senior marketing analyst uh, at Exodus. Um, good evening, Terence, or good afternoon, rather, Terence. How are you doing? I'm well, Sihle. How are you? Good, good. So we recently had the Finance Magnets Africa Summit here in Johannesburg, I think, uh, last month, which was a fantastic event. I mean, you were one of the speakers there. I remember you were presenting a segment. Can you maybe share with our viewers um, your assessment of the entire event, what your experience was like, and what did you sort of take away from it? Yeah, yeah, sure. Well, good afternoon uh, to all our viewers and listeners. Uh, great to be back here with uh, my colleague, Sikhle. And uh, yeah, FMS, uh, the Finance Magnets Africa Summer 2024 was a really resoundingly successful event uh, for, for us as Exynos, in particular in the Sub-Sahara Africa region. Um, quite a, a number of our colleagues uh, took part uh, at the booth as well. So mm -hmm. this was an opportunity for various uh, uh, stakeholders, uh, market uh, participants, industry leaders, to, to get first-hand conversations with mm. us at Exynos as well. Uh, we, we met a lot of our clients, uh, active traders, some of the big traders that are out there um, in South Africa um, that, that came through. Uh, we also had uh, some of our other uh, regional <coughs> big traders coming mm. through to the event yes. as well. Everyone was there. Yes, everyone <laughs> was there. <laughs> yeah. And, um, yeah, I, I presented, um, you know, as you mentioned, as a senior market uh, analyst, you know, uh, we also call it strategist um, here at Exynos. You know, my, my role is to analyze financial markets, uh, to advise clients on mm -hmm. where we think or where I think the market is going, what possible opportunities are there, and to speak about business, you know, in different strategic forms uh, as well. Maybe to interject there, yeah. do you... Do you you know, give trading ideas? Do you just chat about markets in general? Or do you advise what is really the role of yeah. um, a market strategist um, okay. like yourself? I yeah, mean, sure. Well, for example, you mm -hmm. know, um, the, the, the platform that yeah. I spoke at, at the FMS, mm -hmm. you know, I, I gave an overview of okay. what the market looks like. Yeah. Um, you know, I spoke about the South African market mm -hmm. in terms of the U.S. dollar South African rand trade. Okay. Uh, spoke about gold. Um, okay. What opportunities are and threats are there? Mm. So, I discuss ideas. Okay. You know, okay. I develop ideas, mm -hmm. and I give opinions as to where things might go or might not go in in different forms of financial markets, commodities, foreign currency indices, company news as well. I do quite a uh, quite a bit of. Uh, analysis, you yeah. know, financial analysis on on various companies to be able to to comment on their performance and possible trajectory. Yeah, and um, and yeah, so so that that speaks to the role and the opportunity that was presented to to speak to the audience at the F, uh, Finance Magnets Africa Summit 2024 over in Santon in Johannesburg, and um, it was good to participate yeah. there. Yeah. You know. Look, yeah. I was particularly surprised by the attendance, mm, um, the yeah. diversity of the attendees, yeah. um, the retail sort of traders, I mean, partners. But I was also amazed by the exhibitors because we had mm. um, market participants, brokers from um, across the globe yeah. who were exhibiting. We had payment systems, basically all the, the industry players. Yeah. I mean, even the regulator was there. I think they were presenting <laughs> at, uh, at uh, yeah. one of the segments. Yeah. And I think an event like Finance Magnus is very critical and very important for the industry as a whole because it's one event that happens in the year where all the market participants, all mm -hmm. the stakeholders gather um, in one venue, in one event, and they can sort of exchange ideas and interact and, and talk about, you know, the direction of the industry as a whole. For you particularly, why do you think an event like Finance Magnus mm. is very important for the industry? Yeah, I, I think the, the first part that you mentioned was mm. having the regulator there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, we all know how difficult it is to to get hold of the regulator, mm -hmm. you know, to have a conversation with the yeah. regulator. Um, and, and I think that's a very big, uh, you know, point for us as, at Exynos mm -hmm. that 
regardless of your business function and mm. role, you know, you need to be aware of the regulatory uh, um, environment yes. and landscape. So, you know, FMS provides that opportunity where you can have that one-on-one -on -one conversation with the regulator, um, get an idea of what they're thinking, um, you know, around certain things, mm -hmm. uh, in particular our industry. Our industry is... is has been there for, for a while, for, for, for over the decades. It mm -hmm. has changed, you know, the, the nature in which it operates. And I think it's now coming to the forefront mm -hmm. more than it was in yeah. the background, you know, if we look back in the years. And there's a lot of regulation that is still developing around that. And I'm, I'm thankful that, you know, at Exynos we've taken it seriously. Yeah. And, and we've gotten the different licenses, you know, across different countries and regions for us to, to be able to operate professionally, ethically as well. So you are able to meet other service providers as mm. well, you know, over and above the traders. So it creates that platform where you can have a coffee conversation, yeah. you know, without, um, you know, formally having to have a meeting and and structure around that conversation. <coughs> I mean, we, we had conversation with some liquidity providers yes. Uh, we had conversations with some product provider that we could provide uh, certain aspects of liquidity to, for example. Mm. And um, like, as you mentioned, everyone was there, you know, yeah. we had participants all the way from the Middle East across uh, the different parts of Asia coming to take part as well, our new players. And getting to have those conversations to see what is happening in the market as well enables us to, to have a better product offering. Um, in, in, you know, retail trading is, mm. is, is a fast growing space and yeah. the nature of the products are changing. Recently in this year, we, we had the, the, the Bitcoin um, ETF yes. being approved by the SEC, you know, the Securities Exchange Commission in the US. Um, the ETF is offered by BlackRock mm -hmm. and you've got other market participants applying for ETFs yeah. for the likes of Ethereum. Yeah. So that's another product that's coming in that's going to affect the liquidity of of Bitcoin, yeah. uh, for, for example, and the crypto market in general. And what does this mean for us as a service provider? Yeah. So when you have those conversations with some cryptocurrency enthusiasts, they're yeah. able to show you some perspectives uh, and to share perspectives that otherwise would not have been Definitely. aware of yeah so mm. so it was very intriguing i think mm. from the first day yeah sitting down was very difficult yeah. because there were a lot of hot conversations mm. happening on the go and only when the event was done would you would would one have the opportunity yeah. to look back and say wow okay and uh, of course speaking to the awards that we won as well Yes, uh, so I think before we even get to the awards, I think we've got to give props to Finance Magnets yes. uh, organization for putting together such a wonderful event. I mean, they put together these events all over the world um, yeah. annually. So I think this one in South Africa, Finance Magnets Africa Summit, is going to be um, one event that's going to be a force to be reckoned with on the African finance events calendar. Yeah, But also they have a segment where they recognize Mm -hmm. um, I would say the biggest contributors to the industry mm -hmm. in different categories. And yeah. that is where Exynos actually right. walked away with two amazing awards right. in wow. two different categories. Mm -hmm. um, I think the first one uh, to mention is that we won the most trusted broker <laughs> in Africa. Yeah. And for me, that's very important because it, it's, it's basically a vote of confidence, yes. not only from the other stakeholders in the industry, but also from uh, our clients and partners, mm -hmm. because um, transparency, integrity, are one of the key pillars um, at Exynos. So, which means if if some of the key players in the industry, like finance magnets, recognize us as Exynos as, yeah. as as the most trusted broker um, in Africa, it's definitely a big thing. It means that whoever wants to trade with Exynos, who wants to deposit their money with Exynos. They can do so with confidence, yeah. right? Because they know that the industry basically has given us a thumbs up as the most trusted broker. Yeah, and I think yeah. the second one um, is uh, the award we won is um, the best uh, multi-asset broker in Africa. <laughs> yes. Um, now I think multi-asset, multi-asset, yes. um, yeah. because I mean, Exynos doesn't necessarily recognize or identify 
as just a forex broker. Yes. It's a multi-asset broker. Yeah. What does that mean for you? Or how can you break that down for maybe our viewer or listener who who's struggling to sort of make sense mm -hmm. of what does it mean exactly to be a multi-asset broker, which is yeah. an award that we actually won yes. at Finance Magnets. Yeah. Well, it speaks a lot of volume, mm -hmm. you know, Sitley. I mean, uh, you are a commercial director for, for, for South Africa. Uh, and we've got Paul Margaritas, who is our regional director for, for SSA. And I think, you know, and our other colleagues as well, you know, that, that are managing the, the different parts of, of the region. Mm -hmm. You know, when we look at Nigeria being a big market, yeah. um, you know, when we look at, um, you know, um, the, the West mm. being a, a, a market in itself, the southern part of, um, of SSA as well, you know, in the eastern part of yes. SSA as well, including the central. So that speaks to the different uh, leadership positions that, that we've got in, in those and, and the, the, the stellar work mm. in, 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 in what they are doing as, as different team units, you know, in, in driving the business, you know, to, to be recognized firstly as the trusted um a, you know, international broker mm -hmm. in, on the African continent and also being recognized as the best multi-asset mm. uh, uh, brokerage firm, um, international brokerage mm. firm, not just a brokerage firm, yeah. you know, a multi-asset international brokerage firm. And for our traders, what it speaks to, you know, mm. um, what you asked, you know, what does it mean? It, it, we are not a Forex broker mm. alone, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know. Uh, the typical, no, they are forex brokers. No, yeah. no, no. It means that there's a wide range of financial market instruments mm. that we are offering our clients and prospective clients as well. Um, and for you to be a successful trader, you know, I think spending time with you, Sikle, one thing that I have learned is, you know, over your professional career, how you've taken trading as a professional business mm. and even when you speak to clients on on the seriousness in the in in the way they need to to take their business and for you to take your trading business seriously risk management mm. is a very important part very much so and for you to trade the market successfully you also need to manage and hedge that risk you know and some of those risk parameters or hedges that you need to perform are in other instruments. Mm. You know, uh, if the price moves against you in one instrument, it will move for you in another particular mm. instrument for, for the hedge to be successful, for example. Now, Xness allows you that opportunity for you to have a holistic view on yeah. the markets. We're offering foreign currency, of mm -hmm. course. We're offering equities. Um, in terms of some of the big stocks that are out there, mm. we're offering indices, we're offering various commodities, you know, from oil to the metals, your gold, your silver, to the natural gas that you're able to, 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 to trade in as well. So in that space, you know, you are able to actually have a good extensive business in terms of being a professional trader, uh, you know, close to uh, you, you know, uh, being the institution that you would like to build as yourself, yeah. um, you know. So it, it speaks a lot of integrity that goes into, you know, the product that we develop yes. at Exynos. Yeah. Uh, so talking about integrity, so the first award we spoke about, which is uh, Most Trusted Broker, um, for aspirant traders, for guys who want to participate in this industry, um, I would imagine that there are requirements that a broker needs to satisfy um, in order for you to decide that you're trading with this broker. I mean, requirements that speak to trustworthiness. Mm -hmm. I mean, I always like to make an example with banks, right? In South Africa, we've got four big banks mm -hmm. and uh, people gravitate or choose these banks for different reasons. Mm -hmm. Somebody may choose the bank because the interest rates in the savings account is favorable. Or the yeah. one person may say, I'm choosing bank B because they're home loans. Uh, are brilliant, or for whatever reason, and I think it's the same with with uh, with uh, a broker, yeah. right? To trade with, I mean, obviously there are basic requirements. I would think that a broker needs to satisfy for it to be regarded as a trusted broker, mm. which then would make you win an award 
you know, called the most <laughs> trusted broker. What, in your opinion, are some of the tick boxes mm. that um, a platform or a broker like Exynos needs to meet uh, or satisfy before it can be regarded as a trusted broker by both experienced and new traders? Because when you trade with a broker, you're mm. basically trusting them with your money. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So what would you say yeah. are some of the things that somebody who's starting out in this industry or even established needs to look out for in a broker for them to give it a, a thumbs up? Yeah, I mean, certainly that's that's big. Mm. Uh, I mean, uh, and, and I think, you know, for our viewers and listeners, mm. just... <sighs> sorry, guys. Yeah, certainly that's big. And uh, for our viewers and listeners, I think just being able to mm. conceptualize what it means to mm. win that award, you know, uh, most trusted broker, you mm. know, on the continent yeah. is, is a huge, huge achievement. And financial markets, fi financial services mm. is based on trust. Yeah. That is the biggest, um, you know, currency that, that, that you can have. And unfortunately, it's not a currency that you can actually quantify. Mm -hmm. Either you have trust yeah. or you don't have trust. Yeah. Either you are trusted or you're not trusted. Mm. And for you to get to that level of trust, as you mentioned, mm. you are firstly needing to safeguard yeah. uh, individuals and institutions' money because at Exynos, we've got a wide uh, range of product users, you mm. know, from uh, retail traders to institutional yeah. as well, including individuals who've been able to create, mm. um, you know, successful businesses yeah. around the products that, yeah. that we're able to, to offer. Yeah. So the first thing I think, you know, is, is the level of integrity measured mm. through your relationship with the regulator. Mm -hmm. You know, we mentioned that, um, you know, we had the, the regulator there mm. uh, and taking part mm. uh, at the, you know, at the FMAS mm -hmm. um, during this year. And, you know, when you have, you know, your regional director comfortably sitting on the, on the main stage, mm and delivering a conversation and talking to different uh, conversation points, it shows you the comfort that we are, you know, in able to do business in the place that we're in. You know, if we have senior individuals like yourself, you know, standing at the booth, interacting with people, discussing, you know, the various uh, products we're able to yeah. offer, you know, it speaks of, of that relationship that we have with the regulator, mm. you know, and being able to pass through all those checkpoints. Because the South African regulator, you know, may be known or unknown to our viewers mm. and listeners out there. It's one of the most stringent yes. in the world, you know, more stringent than some of the most developed uh, financial markets out there, you know, and known to people. Mm. So to actually get a, a South African license is is a remarkable show of trust, yeah. uh, of faith, you know, in, in the business and the individuals um, uh, that, that take part, you know, to, to make Exynos a successful business across uh, sub-Sahara Africa yeah. as well. So I think the relationship of the regulator, mm -hmm. of, of, of the broker, yeah. is, is, is critical. So the uh, compliance part is... is the mm. compliance part, mm. yes. You know, are you adhering to the, to the compliance regulations? Because it's, it's expensive as well. Mm. Uh, you know, over and above the integrity and the ethical conduct you need to do, mm. having all the right checks and balances is extremely expensive. And that's why people tend to cut corners. Yeah. You know, whereas at Exynos, we go the full mile and we leave no stone unturned to ensure that everything is above yeah. board and all the checks and balances are in place. So yeah, uh, that relationship with the regulator, including the internal processes, mm. you know, um, I think you've always alluded to when you call Exynos, your money is your money. Yes, your you money know, is When yours. you click mm. withdraw, your ability to withdraw easily, mm -hmm. just as you have deposited, mm -hmm. your ability to deposit easily. You know, that transaction needs to be seamless, you know. And we work uh, in, in a world where there's a lot of different payment systems and systems fail for reasons, you know, glitches in systems and so forth. How quick are we able to communicate that to our clients is mm -hmm. very important and resolve those issues. 
and not shy away from any challenges that might come with a particular glitch. And that is very important to to establish the, the level of support uh, oh, okay. that the broker is able to give its clients. Yeah. Thank you for clarifying that for our students. I think um, as a passing short from my side, just one final question. I mean, looking at what you do, yeah. right, you travel extensively across Africa. Yeah. What conversations are you having with traders or what conversations are the traders uh, on the ground across mm -hmm. the continent initiating uh, that really make uh, sort of the narrative very interesting? I mean, yeah. So w what are you talking about to them uh, yeah. in most cases? Yeah, so I think the first conversation is I can see the changing landscape mm -hmm. of the African retail trader. Mm -hmm. uh, we are becoming more educated. Uh, we are becoming more sophisticated. And we are definitely taking part uh, in, you know, in the wider global uh, financial market. You know, mm -hmm. We are no longer tucked in a corner alone. Mm. So the conversations are around exposure yeah. and tools to better understand markets and their moves and why markets move a certain way. Mm. You know, um, the, the second level of conversations is around successful trading businesses. Um, you know, our partnerships uh, across sub-Sahara Africa have been very successful. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of interest in active traders now actually leveling up for them to become Exynos partners and what support we are able to to give them and even speaking you know from from a position that i sit in being able to speak into their business and offering the right tools for them to to be upskilled to then upskill yeah. their their various clients those have been the two um talking points um and i think the third interestingly is the trader community is looking to be more integrated mm. you know across uh, borders yeah. and i think we will start seeing that a lot more where we'll earnestly have a single market, so to speak, of a uh, trader community. And Exynos is sort of like the central player or the glue that keeps it all together. Oh, thank you for clarifying that for us, uh, Terence. I think uh, for anyone who's watching us at home or wherever you're watching us from, if you want to learn more about um, the products that Exynos offers, you can visit exynos.com. You can also connect with us on social media platforms, Exynos Africa on Instagram, Exynos Africa on Twitter. We are also in LinkedIn and Facebook. And also do the right thing and uh, click on the subscribe button so that you can be notified um, on the next episode that we, uh, we offer. So thanks a lot for watching for now and uh, catch up with you soon. Thank you. Bye for now.